Hey everyone, it's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness. Thanks so much for being here today. This would be our fourth America's Thrift Supply box. Uh, it is a brown box. It does have fragile stickers on it, so that's kind of interesting. So let's rip this open. Okay, well this time we don't have the cardboard, but we have some... Okay, here is the last box that we purchased. This is box number four. And to me, it looks like a whole bunch of plastic design, uh, you know, fashion jewelry. So let's, and I'm not seeing a lot of little stuff. You know, it's kind of looking like all bigger stuff. Let's see. Four elastics. Okay, these are hair ties. Fashion jewelry. So it's a plastic. Okay, it's in a wrapper and it's, it's missing stuff. This is not a good start, gang. All right, well, let's see. These are horses, gold tone. I think that's looking okay. I am so curious to see. I think this is going to be our uh, make or break box. Uh, there, how about move that over just a tad? Um, you know, the first box was so fantastic. The second box was pretty good. The third box, uh, and uh, you know, I think this is going to be kind of our you know, last and final go here. We'll see what happens. That's not bad. You know, I mean, it's fashion, but it's not bad. Kind of nice Western theme going on there. Don't know if that's artisan made, but that's not bad. Oh, it's a little clamper. All right. This is super, super, super lightweight. Oh, and kind of, mm, all right, I think that's going to go over that. Okay, that is big and chunky. Faux turquoise, faux silver. You know what? That's not, you know, that is not a bad, bad color combo. What do you think about that one? The blue and the green there. That's not bad, right? Okay, nice stretch. That looks like dyed halite. We've got things loving. All right, let's see what this looks like here. Got some nice rhinestones. What do you think about that one? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh my gosh. Well, how is everybody doing for the changing? Well, is your weather changing? Ours is actually changing a little in the morning. Not so much in the afternoon. We're still in the uh, upper 90s here, but at least the morning is a little cooler. Kind of, you know, kind of scooch that one around a little bit, massage it. I think that'll be, you know what? There's some heft here. I think I think that would be a nice power necklace. What do you think? Well, as I was saying, hopefully everybody is having a good start to October. Can't believe it's October. It's absolutely insanity how quick this year went. Uh, looks like everything is there. A little enameling. Okay. Well, we have a little tag. Etc. Okay. All right, 
Let's try this again. Okay, these are plastic. Little dangles. Well, so far this looks like a quite a fashion forward kind of box. Oh, that looks like that would be really pretty. Artisan made, maybe? You know, do the, the weaving there. Okay, maybe part of the kit. Okay, well, we are missing the end on this one. But we have some plastic beads and a bro. Oh, the shell is broken. Someone might be able to do something with that. So we'll put that over in the craft area. Not bad. Doesn't look like tarnish. And everything kind of looks a little layered in here. So maybe we just took apart a display case again or you know one of those end caps where they have all the come on work with me all of the fashion jewelry I don't know about your goodwill but our goodwill does and I we don't have one of these stores here America's thrift so I'm not sure what theirs looks like but I'm assuming they probably have end caps the same okay what is going on here Oh, it's broken. Okay. <laughs> well, there's some cool looking cat's eye pieces in here. And not sure what's up with this. Maybe a tag was on there. I'll take a look at it a little, little more. Oh, I don't know what we're barking at now. Let me find out. Hold on. I'm not sure what she was working at. Okay, here is a little Florida Lee enameled earring. Okay, first earring we've seen. So something something a little different other than these big old fashion necklaces. Oh, an open-ended piece. Maybe leather, faux leather. So that's not bad. That's not a bad ending here. All right, that's okay. That over there. Oh, here's another Fleur de Lis. Oh, hey, all right. Okay, so we have an enhancer and an earring. Well, maybe we'll end up with a little set there. That would be that'd be neat. This looks like a choker collar. It's actually not not really scuffed. I'll take my microfiber cloth and give it a good once over and see what happens uh more paparazzi is anyone getting like paparazzi to death in their in their boxes I mean, i'm getting a ton i wonder if the necklace is in here we shall see now this is a little heavier these feel like glass uh, it does look a little, just a tiny bit stretched out, so that's probably going to go in craft. Plastic. Acrylic. With some nice little rhinestones in there. Well, that one's not bad. Let's see what this one looks like. You know, our first box, if you haven't seen that video, we were so shocked. It had, it was nothing but brooches and men's jewelry. The second box, we had some absolutely gorgeous silver. And the third box was um, a little challenging. Let's just put it that way. It didn't really have too, too much in it. And this box looks like it's going to be... A little different still. Okay, you know what? This is kind of a really neat. I mean, there, the, this is kind of hung on top of that. And then this is on. You know, that is kind of very interesting. This kind of layered thing we've got going there. Hmm. Well, that's kind of cool. 
these are little plastic like little plastic discs kind of interesting oh i wonder if these go together they could okay so far as everything is acrylic you know, style, fashion. I mean, to me, this absolutely looks like... Ugh, this, this box is definitely dirty. It looks... I'm, certainly looks like it could have been that way. Um, you know, where this was all kind of put together. Because this is very similar... What is this? Similar type jewelry. Well, here's this. That came flying out. Here is this ribbon. Oh, here's another. Yes, me. I love that ombre look. That's kind of cool. Okay, they have these um, tied together. They're banded together with a ribbon. Maybe because they're all kind of the same beaded. Can it, well, let's take it apart. Let's find out. I have honestly, after a gazillion boxes we've opened, I've never seen this. <laughs> I've never seen the things tied together. Oh, bumped the thing, so sorry. Okay, so I think they were put together because they all have similar similar look or construction. Look at the, the ton of seed beads here. And actually, you know what? That kind of goes okay with that right there. So we have that one, and then we have this one. I think I would just untie that little knot there. And then this one, boy, wouldn't that be great for fall? This brown and the gold and this off-white. That's nice. Okay, here's oh two more okay i wonder if here they all have this you know knot thing going on that is a ton of beads okay and here we have a how light you know that's kind of like the oddball everybody else has all these beautiful seed beads and then you have that stone so i wonder if these were all made by maybe the same artisan don't know or maybe they came out of the same store interesting okay well you can see something new every day <clears throat> uh, that's a little that, that's not the greatest condition I think that's gonna go in craft but this would be great if you did some sort of weaving or beadwork I think that would be a great frame for that that is definitely a, kind of an earthy look. That is different. Lighter weight. Kind of that acrylic, blended, kind of swirled look. That's not bad. Those are pretty. <clears throat> Mm, all right, another hair dealy. <clears throat> oh, here's another ribbon. Oh, this looks like let's say something here. Cowgirl, that's cute. <laughs> okay, there are a lot of these kind of woodeny. And here is the match to that yellow one that wasn't in great shape. And then we've got this one. <clears throat> it definitely seems like this box is all things fashion. And this is dyed shell. Unfortunately, the real big one has a little nick in it. Oh, a couple. So, but fun thing to take apart. All right, let's take a look here. Here's another ribbon. And these just look like, yeah, I'm wondering if these just came out of like, you know, a certain section or a store. Because that's kind of different, right? 
Now these don't seem to have a theme. This one would be pretty wooden beads. CG seven dollars. These are acrylic and yarn beads. Very interesting. <clears throat> black and white with the gold tone. All right. Certainly have to get these cleaned up and find out what, wow, that's fun. You know, what they look like after a good cleaning. Oh, here's another one of the ombre ones. I like that color. Those are fun. Nice stretch too. Well, here is the first one that isn't with them. Oh, you know what? I'm going to need my magnifying glass for that one. But we have a nice gold tone chain. That, Like I said, that's the first one that has a little bit different look. Okay, another hair dealy. Man alive, there are a lot of bracelets in here. Okay, this one. Okay, now we have two. But you know what? The, with that mystic topaz kind of look, that's, I think that is fun, fun, fun. That's a pretty color, this salmon and the brown wooden beads. You know, that would go nicely with any any kind of the, the wooden thing we've got going on here. That's a pretty one. Not in bad shape, not not overly scratched, nice. We had this one in brown, now we have it in pink. These look pretty good on the inside, can you, can you see? And these are plastic, acrylic. That's not bad either, That that is in actually pretty good shape. So is this, this copper look. Yeah, these are, mm, they don't stay cool for very long, but hey, that's, a, that's not bad either. Another hair deal. This one has some weight to it. It's not marked. Nice little cuff with these Oh, seed beads, but we're missing some. Okay, well, somebody can fix it. This is a nice look to it. This would be great for fall. Clamper. Really not scratched. It's pretty in good shape, too. All right. Okay, another ribbon. Did any of you end up with stuff like this? Isn't that, isn't that different? I think that's very different. Uh, this style, you know, we have had, you know, several... Pretty interesting. Okay, let's take a look. Let's find our... Okay, and these are probably put together because they have the same sort of fashion look to them. This is, this is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> All right. just dirt that beautiful kind of beigey salmon kind of color and we have it in this turquoise blue too um, I wonder if these are paparazzi 
since they are the same, just different color. Classic color combo here. Well, it has, you know, I really, really do need to find my magnifying glass. Okay, but whatever this is, they have earrings attached to it, or maybe a set here. Okay, that's just it. I need to grab my magnifying glass. Let me find it. Hold on. All right, this getting more and more blind as a bat. All right, I thought it did say Chico's, and it does. Well, this is the first Chico's piece we have had <clears throat> quite a little while. I like that. Look at that. Kind of painted enameled look down here almost you know kind of Aztec-y look well that's nice to find a little something something okay I think we have a lot of stuck together kind of things <clears throat> okay we have part of an Part of an end, or where's the other end? There we go. Well, if you don't like the composition, there are certainly some great little bits and bobbles here. That's not, you know, that would be good for multi purpose. And this was attached to something. You know what? We had something very similar to this in, I don't know, was it the second or third box? It, but it looks like all the rhinestones and things are there, so that is nice. always like to see things with everything attached. Um, this has got the magnets in it. Boy, oh boy, this is... This is pretty bad. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, you know what? We'll have to look really carefully, but look at all the little rhinestones in there. That's pretty. The multicolor. That is a nice bangle. We'll make sure that everything is in it. Not marked, but you know, not bad either. A copper color very it seems to be very in still I like these I think this would be fun for a night out this bright this box is so heavy with bracelets it's not even funny uh, this these large kind of lucite looking acrylic type beads wow that is hefty 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 and that is a great look if you like big and bold that is a that's a piece let me tell you okay we're almost i mean again we're almost done let me scoop this forward Let's see what a little more tangly down here but not bad okay this is broken but again more of the acrylic type beads for craft oh i spoke too soon Gosh, let's see what we've got going on here. Again, this box was kind of different again about, you know, what was in it and the tied up in the ribbons and things. It kind of different, 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 different. Night C and then 1945, 1946. All right, well, 
definitely interesting but at least it's a signed piece Okay, this one has the chunk of another piece attached to it. All right, this one just has the stuff all kinds of wonked around it, but you get the idea. Fashion, very similar. This box had a theme for sure. Well, what is everybody thinking? If you've purchased these boxes, are you going to continue purchasing them? Are you a one and done? Or, you know, we've had a few and now it's kind of, eh, wah, wah kind of thing. Well, this is really sad. We, <laughs> something was pretty here. And that's kind of funky cool. All right, so we've got it. We've got a little broken action going on here. Okay, these are broken. Okay, and I definitely have a. Oh, here's some more broken. Oh, here's another piece of that. <clears throat> and we are almost down to the end. Tricolor. That's pretty. Like that. Oh, some glass beads. Here's the end. Longer piece. It has a few of these glass beads and differing pieces of chain. Okay. We've had this necklace several times. It's a lighter weight, just a really great fashion piece to layer. Okay, again. Nice, longer, great for layering type piece. Oh, well, that piece is pretty interesting. Comes down to the tassels and it sort of slides through here. So you can shorten it up. That's kind of an interesting piece. And this one just kind of has a tassel at the end. Leather cord. Suede cord. <clears throat> All right, this one has some shell, some metal dangles, and then I think maybe two maybe a pair of earrings or it could be just one oh no no the other earrings down here okay so it's got the earrings and then 
the necklace. What, 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 what? There we go. Okay. Yep, I have an end. All right, so this one needs to be repaired. Okay, dollar twenty nine, made in China, thirty five inches, and it's a plastic. Little doodad. This has something that I think it's kind of snaggy here, so I think something was perhaps still attached to that. But it has some pretty, there's a glass bead and some pretty dangles. You could probably just take that one off. And add something else. Well, oh, craft. Okay, aha! Uh -huh. Here's that earring. So we do have that pair of earrings. Okay, we have a few of these silver beads and one earring. Earring. And yeah, here's some twine. All right, gang, that was box number three some interesting stuff. I'll get it cleaned up and um, put some pricing on it. Of course, everything is for sale if there's anything that you saw, but I'll see about putting at the end of the video uh, the sale pieces and we'll just salvage what we can. All right, well, let's get to the meat and bones here. I'll show you what we're going to have for sale out of this box. This beautiful mesh and rhinestone silver tone is 18 to 20 and a half has a nice little extender. Look at the mesh. It has a nice, I mean, just a really great look to it. It looks like this is encrusted in rhinestones. It's not. Uh, we do have rhinestones though in the enhancers that are holding it together. Nice style. It's item 500. It's $2. Okay, 501. This piece is 27 to 29 inches. It is marked C1946. Has that great silver tone. And these move. So it gives you a little bit of, you know, a little bit of something, something. And it's got a great pendant. And this is 501. It's $2. And 502. This is a scarf style open ended. And this necklace is 44 inches, has the great little tassels. You've got a few extra inches on the drop here because of these tassels. And I mean, this is a hefty, hefty chain. If you don't even like it for the styling, get it for the chain. It's 502, also $2. Okay, this first group of bracelets, I think they would all go with the first group of necklaces. Okay, the first one is 503. This mesh bangle, I think, would go great with that very first one. It's in great shape. It's a dollar. And I'll put the uh, ruler against everything at the very end. And that's 503. 504 is a bangle with multicolor rhinestones, uh, blue, yellow, and pink. It has a great look, too. Uh, it's got some weight. It's 504. It's a dollar. This rose maybe it's a rose it looks like a flower to me this cuff silver tone again 505 it's a dollar and 506 a pair of acrylic plastic stretch bead pair of bracelets lots of fun here lots of sparkle this pair also a dollar okay let's put that on here All right, each one a dollar. These next three will each be two dollars, very different looks. 
this is certainly an asymmetrical triple strand on the bottom single strand on the top this is kind of like a coppery bronzy gold theme throughout it is 23 26 inches with the extender you have a little clankability but you know what there's not a lot of rhyme or reason for how all of the little charms are placed so if that's your thing you will absolutely love it if you want something very symmetrical mm, don't pick this one but it has a lot of fun pieces and it has a lot of great color texture it's a great layering piece it's five zero seven two dollars five zero eight this piece is very unique let's put it out here we go we've got double strand gold tone on the top it's 22 inches the way it sits right now these slide around on the tassel front here so i you can make this a little longer a little shorter the tassels have this white chain and the gold tone chain this has got like a little sparkly bar right here it's very neat looking so i you know i'm digging this piece it's 508 it is two dollars and 509 this one is 42 inches this is a darker gold tone we've got glass beads these almost look like paper clip design so it has a lot of great color a lot of great sparkle and again because this one's so long perfect layering it's 509 it's two dollars these next three each will be two dollars 510 is an 18 to 21 inch with this extender we have these um, kind of plastic acrylic beads here you know they look like a uh, faux turquoise you've got the diamonds down here lots of movement you know a lot of a lot of eye-catching stuff going on here look at this chain i mean this is uh, it's pretty darn substantial so this has got some weight to it okay that's 510 two dollars 511 this is a great layering piece it is lighter weight got that black look to it you know it's going to go with everything Oh, perfect for layering that's five one five one one two dollars and five one two this is just going to be totally fun uh, this one by the way is 38 inches this one is 27 inches and it has about a two and a half inch drop we have the rhinestones the silver tone uh, mauve purple silver tone beads you know this again would be a great little layering piece but look at the sparkle we've got going on it's a really nice little piece it's um these are not glass so it's a lighter weight piece has a lot of movement down here two dollars five one two five one three is a two-piece set this will be the cream and kind of a an off-white almost enhancer silver tone a little florida leaf very very sweet and it has the matching earrings silver tone beautiful condition these are french hooks i uh, think this is brand new this set 513 is three dollars and then 514 is four dollars this is a 36 inch gold tone fashion necklace by guess it has the double chain single chain we have these great open work beads here beautiful gold tone i think this is going to be a fantastic layering piece i love layering pieces and it's four dollars it's 514 515 this duo is from chico's uh, these were together when they were found these have the same look so i'm going to say these are in fact the earrings that go with this 
This would be 16 to 20 and a half inches. This medallion is really hefty. We've got this great multicoloring down here. I, you know what? The, the grays, the golds, it's really pretty. This one is marked Chico's here. It does have the hang tag here. It's on the triple strand here, this cord. And then here are the wooden earrings, French hook. But you know what? This, the pendant is gorgeous. The set is $5 by Chico's 515. Either one of these bracelets would go pretty nice with that uh, Chico set. 516, 517, each is going to be a dollar. This one would be the closest in the color. Nice stretch, wooden bead. And this would complement nicely too. Again, this one is a little bit lighter color. Both wooden, both a dollar. This next set also by Chico's. This one is 518, it is $6. This is a little heavier. This has a nice heavy chain and a lot of detail here. We've got some shell and more intricate looking charms and it just has a lot of going on. It's 16 to 20 inches with the extender. And then here are these great earrings. The earrings are uh, most certainly a little heavier, okay? So just keep that in mind. This Duo by Chico's, 518, $6. Hey, this bangle, 519, kind of has a, a kind of a copper brass look to it. And it has a lot of detail with the raised pieces here. We have very nice, interesting, checkerboard fastening on the faux stones. That one is a dollar. It's 519. 520. This looks, I don't know if anybody's ever used it. It is a stretch bracelet, gold tone with galloping horses. Isn't that pretty? This one is $2. Again, that's a stretch bracelet, 520. And 521. This is a clamper copper tone, all of the design work here. This one also looks pretty much new again. This is 521 and it's $2. So let's do this for you. Stretch. Okay. $1, $2, $2. Two dollars. Five two two. This piece is twenty to twenty-three inches with the extender. Has kind of a you know Tibetan kind of flare going on here. Got the tassels. It's not really gold color. It's not really brass color. It almost has a green cast to it. It's very interesting. It is of course a fashion piece, uh, but I tell you, it's got a lot of movement. It's a fun piece. It is a really, really fun piece. It's $2. These next three, very fashion. Um, this one has great color with the black and the cream color. Gold tone. It's 15 to 19. You can see all the faceting that went into this one. This one is a dollar. Five, two, three. Five, two, four and 525. Both of these are going to be $2. These are 16 to 19 inches. These have a little uh, stronger construction. They are heavier weight. Um, I'm going to say obviously different manufacturer. You can see from the back. Little backing. A larger chain. Uh, this muted kind of salmon, almost a salmon beige. It's gorgeous. Uh, this one is $2. It's five, two, four. And then five, two, five would be the same necklace, but in this gorgeous Robin's egg blue, almost like a uh, sleeping beauty turquoise has a great look to it. Both of these are in excellent condition. And again, same backing. And this one is five two five two dollars. 
This one is 5 to 6. It is 17 to 20 inches with the extender. We have this black, almost like cord over, it's over something. Not sure what's in there, but it, it's got some um, decent amount of weight to it. All right, take a look at these rhinestones. Talk about fun, right? Here's the back. They've got that foil look to them. You've got these other spacers here. If you are not a big fan of this particular necklace, it has the pieces. I mean, you could make three pendants. Well, actually, you could make five pendants, maybe a pair of earrings with a, you know, a matching necklace. I think you could do a lot with this. It's really, really pretty. It's got a nice weight to it. It's not overly heavy, but it's not really lightweight either. It's five to six. It's three dollars. We have some nice bracelets that would actually go with the previous necklace. Five to eight, uh, five to seven, five to eight, five to nine. These three are each going to be a dollar, and five three zero will be two dollars. Okay, this first one, five to seven, it is just a fun fashion stretch bracelet very minor scuffing that you can barely see and it may even polish out I'm not real sure I mean these are plastic but a lot of fun I think you could really make some cute earrings out of that too five to seven that's a dollar another stretch bracelet these are almost a almost like a chocolate brown black but they come off looking definitely more like a uh, black a lot of individual beads. They feel kind of plastic and wooden. 528, that's a dollar. 529, you've got the really interesting beads here, the black beads in between with the faceting. These are acrylic or plastic. And then you have these little rectangles, almost square, but not quite. I think these are wooden. Nice stretch multi-strand it's a dollar it's five two nine and five three zero this fashion piece looks like um like it's almost wrapped in leather it's a cuff and i think that would go actually just swimmingly with that necklace let me tell you and it's five three zero and it's two dollars Okay, this necklace it has a lot going for it it is 22 to 24 and a half inches you have these very very sparkly faceted blue plasticky acrylic type beads you have the faux stone look you know like turquoise uh, these are not my favorite I mean they spin nice uh, but to me there's a little tarnishing going on you could probably polish them back up but I think these right here, these green emerald looking, um, could be lucite. Um, I mean, these beads are amazing. They are so fun and so funky. And the combination of everything, that blue and that, that emerald green, uh, they're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think really you probably take this apart because the beads are great. Uh, 531, $2. Have some great fashion bracelets. This is 532. These almost look like that mystic topaz. These are faux, obviously. A uh, lot of color. Stretch bracelet. You're going to get the pair for a dollar. 532, 533. Look at this. Again, it's stretch, silver tone with that blue going on there. This is a really, really pretty one. It's 533, it is a dollar. 534, definitely one of my favorites. I love this. The dimension here, I mean, you could see the pyramid top we have going on here. It's gorgeous too with that ombre. 534, it is a dollar. 535, we had the black one earlier. Here's the same version of the wooden and plastic beads in pink. 535 it is a dollar 536 I think is brand new it still has like the tag like maybe it was on a card uh, it probably had a matching necklace at some point uh, but stretch it's really pretty it's 536 it is a dollar the only one not a stretch in this group 
is this one. It's a clamper. It's got that kind of purple tortoise, you know, hump going on there. I think it's really cute too. Here it is across. Uh, lighter weight. Okay. Five, three, seven, a dollar. Next three are definitely in the earth tones. This fashion necklace is five, three, eight. It's one dollar. Has the, the faux swirling stone and uh, faux glass beads. It's really pretty. It, you know, choker length here, 16 to about 18 with that extender. And this one is a dollar. 539 is $3. This piece is 24 to 27 inches. Again, we've got that great earth tone color. Let me see if I can get everything in frame here for you. We've got, you know, the chocolate. And then these have a little bit of iridescent to them. Uh, this ivory color and most certainly this gold color. It has an extender. Hence, it can be 24 to uh, 27. Has beautiful flow, doesn't it? Love that pattern. It's 539. It's $3. Okay, 540. This one's going to be $2. This one has a chip out of this top wooden bead. I think a little bit of black polish would take care of that. This one is 33 and a half inches. Look at all of the seed beads down here. Look at all the color. Look at all the work that went into this. It is $2 because of the little whoop de doo we've got going on there. And this is 540. Hey, each of these bracelets will be $2. The first one, this is supposed to look, I think, like the Tagua beads. I don't, you know, I don't know if you want to take it apart or leave it like this, but there's a lot of great stuff here. This is $2, 541, 542, shell and wooden beads, kind of almost like a little clamper kind of going on there. 542 is $2. 543, this says cowgirl. This one is 8 inches. 543 is $2. And 544, this has got like the big, like almost like um, marbling going on here. Has it on all of them, which is really cool. And again, these are big statement size beads here. I love that. Nice clanking you've got going on. This one is two dollars as well. Five four four. Okay, these next three will each be a dollar. I think they were made by the same artisan. Okay, the first one is twenty three to twenty five inches. Um, we've got the little lobster claw, silver tone clasp, and multi strand with all of the pretty seed beads. They feel cool, so I think they're pretty much glass. This is five four five. It's a dollar. 546. This one is 25 and a half to 28. This one has a little bit different closure. This one has colorful seed beads and then these gold tone beads. Okay, this one is 546. It is a dollar. This one also is 25 and a half to 28. Again, uh, with this closure. And then we have silver tone instead of the gold tone. And then the multicolor seed beads on this one. This one is 547. It is also a dollar. 549. This is a beautifully constructed necklace. It's 22 inches. This one is $5. Look at all of the work here that somebody has done. I'm assuming it's artisan since we've had quite a bit of artisan work in this box. It certainly could be commercial made, but the colors, the strands, it is beautiful. It's $5. These three bracelets would actually <laughs> all go pretty well with uh, this necklace. All right, 550. You know, we've all had these in our boxes. It's just a beautiful match to that necklace. It's $1. 
551. This is a fashion. It's got the gold tone stretch. Again, this one uh, has that faux stone look. It would go nicely too. It's 551 for a dollar. And so with this one, 55, five, excuse me, 551. 552, five, we've got the cuff, we've got the faux stone. You know, these are plastic. This all three easy, easy wear. Gorgeous color though, right? 552, five, also a dollar. Okay, and this pairing is absolutely stunning. 553, five, this necklace is 19 to 22 inches with the extender, silver tone triple strand that has been woven together this looks like dyed howlite looks like beautiful turquoise this color is stunning it is five dollars it's five five three and make this a set pick up five five four look at this bracelet tell me this doesn't look fantastic together this is woven chain with the looks like the doubt the dyed howlite again i mean this is gorgeous look at that stretch it's beautiful all right this one is four dollars it is five five four okay and the last thing in the box although the number is a little out of whack yeah just go with it it's been a day hasn't it uh it would be the craft this is four pounds three ounces it's item five four eight it's eight dollars there is a little bit of everything in here I mean, there is a lot of color, a lot of chain, a lot of, a lot of good stuff. Beads, you name it, it's got some stuff in there. It's $8 again, it's a little over four pounds. All right, let's start with the bonus items. A1. This is a natural chocolate sapphire. It's an oval, it's 20 by 10, it's 12 carats. And I hope I can, there we start getting to see some of that beautiful color. Um, these are sealed. I've never been into them. They still have the plastic on them. I'm just never gonna get around to setting any of my jewelry. So um, I'm gonna let the stones go. Uh, this one is $7. A2. This one is double A Rose de France Amethyst Trillions. There's five of them. They're five millimeter. Total is 1.83 carats. And they are very um, lilac purple. Uh, my monitor is starting to look a lot like tanzanite blue, but these are not blue. So hopefully this comes out a little better on your end. It's A2 and the set is $7. And the most expensive would be this one. This is A3. This is triple A set of five of Mozambique garnets. These are six millimeter square. You've got 6.4 carats. I mean, this color is so gorgeous. I was gonna make an earring, a set of earrings and a pendant out of it. Uh, I think this would be a magnificent set to do. Again, I mean, these are sealed, so. And these, these are just full on gorgeous. They're $15. Okay, this next group, A4. This one is a Rose de France. It's cut in the octillion style. It's six millimeters. It's 0.74 carats. And it has a beautiful mauve lilac color. Really hope it's coming through. It's a gorgeous piece. It's $4. A5, this one is, a, again, it's a natural chocolate sapphire. It's a pear cut. It's 14 by 10. This one is 6.6 .6 carats. I'm going to see if I can not get it to turn. You can see, oh, some of that beautiful color. It's gorgeous, too. It's 6.6 .6 carats, $5. A6, this is triple A Larimar. It's an, in an octagon, 8 by 6, pretty calibrated. Um, size there, easy to set. This has that, just that drop dead gorgeous blue, 1.84 carats. And again, these are all open, never been open. Uh, A6, this one is $6. And A7 is a double A Larimar oval. It's a 14 by 7, 3.59 carats. Let's see all the color in there. This one is 
Boy, this one is gorgeous. A8. This one is the multicolor Jasper beaded statement. Uh, it is 18 to 20 inches with this extender. It's 190 carats, and we've got stainless steel findings. Let me take you around here. Look at these colors. I mean, the mauves and that kind of tealy dark green, almost like a granditerite, granditerite color right there. Um, you know what? These are gorgeous. Look at these beads. There is a ton to love here. And coming up in this fall, these nice muted, almost jewel tone colors almost. These are nice colors. Uh, it's perfect. A8, it's $8. A9 is stunning. I hope the colors come through. Uh, this would be Brazilian multicolor fluorite including the fluorite floral carved pendant. It is rhodium over sterling. It's 283 carats and it's 18 to 20 inches with that extender. We've got everything from the greens to the lilacs, almost this bicolor like purple blue. And look, look at that pendant, that carving. That color, it's amazing. This piece is stunning. It's $14, A9. A10, rose quartz, pink glass beads. Uh, we've got this silver tone chain. It's 18 to 20 inches and it's 195 carats. All right, let's talk about what's really, really fabulous. Look at that color. Oh my word, is that beautiful? And then you've got the glass beads. I mean, look at these. Oh my gosh. You know, if you took this apart, you could have a beautiful pendant still. You could make beautiful earrings and then a bracelet. Uh, this chain is lighter weight, not my favorite. Then that's why I'm asking $9 and not, you know, some things substantially more because the, the stones, beautiful chain. Eh, it's okay. I mean, it's lighter. I'm, I'm not so crazy. I wish they would have used a heavier chain. So we're going to go with $9 A10. This is A11. This is Italian sterling silver. It's a diamond cut sparkle chain. I mean, I barely touch it and you could just see all of that wonderful sparkle. Uh, it's 18 inches. It's a great length and it's a great weight. This is 4.75 grams. This is not, you know, a one and a half or two gram. This is almost five grams. Look at this. Uh, you don't need a pendant with this. I mean, this, my gosh, it'll stand all on its own. It's $14. A11. A12, this is perfect for this time of year. This is a sterling silver angel pendant. She's one and a quarter by seven eighths. She weighs 2.2 grams of, of sterling. She's $5. She is part of our thank you for being here. Thank you for being with us. And here's the bale. I mean, you can definitely get quite a bit of a variety of chain here. Here she is. Isn't she pretty? She's $5. Talk about a great stocking stuffer. A12. I wish I could find my ring forms, but I, you know, I am still working out of boxes. So bear with me. A13. This is a simulated diamond sterling silver ring. That heart is gorgeous. This is a five and three quarter. Weighs 1.6 grams overall. It's got a nice, solid little band here. There's the under gallery. I mean, we've got a lot of nice features here, but man, that, that looks good. Talk about a great promise ring, first ring. Talk about a nice stocking stuffer. That is A13. It's $9.00. A14, this would be made from Bali. You can tell their design work right off the bat. It's Mozambique garland, sterling silver. It's 1.5 carats. The overall weight is 5.6 grams. And we have seven and three quarters here. 
So here is the under gallery. Here's the side profile. And really for as large as the stone is, it's got a nice lower profile. So when you're wearing it, you know, you've got a lot of, a lot of play there. I mean, I think you could even get gloves on here. This piece is gorgeous. A14, $15. Okay, this duo is A15, features uh, lapis lazuli, uh, silver tone. This is fashion jewelry. Um, it's 110 carats. It has this silver, um, you know, look to it, obviously, it, with the horse motif. These are post back. You know, it's a little hard to see, you know, the detail in that it's a seven and a quarter to eight and a half it you know it's a nice little set just the way it is it's six dollars it's a one five all right and let's wrap up box number one of our five a day series okay a one six this elephant, he reminded me so much of Christmas with his coloring. So I put him with the Christmas lot. He's about two by two. And he's got the Austrian crystals, faux pearls. And that is a brooch. Gold tone. He's $2. A17, the, again, all Austrian crystals throughout the board here. Two by one and an eighth. I love, love, love this pen. Silver tone. It can be both a brooch or a pendant. That is $2. This snowman is so stinking cute. He's two by one and a half. Look at all that enamel work. Again, he can be both a pendant or a brooch. He's $2. And our little Santa down here, I'm going to say $3 for him just because of the sheer amount of work he's got going on here and then all of the rhinestones he's one and five eighths by two and a quarter and he can be a brooch i mean is that just not stinking cute that is a one nine he is three dollars all right gang make sure you come back and see us tomorrow for video number two thank you so much we appreciate you guys being here hope you have a safe rest of your day we'll see you soon